So if it is not a Christian, so if they are Christian, that person will encounter a demon. Da står den personen overfor en demon. I was in one gathering. Jeg var i en samling. There was one member in the camp who was putting a spell on me. Da var det en i forsamlingen som kastet på damen på mig. I remember this girl. She talked to me afterwards because she was so frustrated. Also, the lady and those knocked at me about for a bunch of people. While I was teaching in front, no, I laughed at that. She wanted to kill me. Who wants to drive me? She wanted to run to the front and just stab me on my neck or on my heart or do something. Who wants to drive me from a bar and stick me in the head? She was involved with a in a dormitory. She had a roommate that was doing. Um, transcendental meditation. Ja, altså hun bodde på sted sammen med en sånn som driver med meditasjon. And they were looking into this experience of coming out into your body through your belly button with a silver lining. Ja, altså de søkte om å oppleve at du skulle komme ut med en spirit guide. You know what? We've confronted people with this kind of background. I said, call your spirit guide. In Jesus' name, reveal yourself. And they would shake. Because the spirit guide would appear like a light, but when you say in Jesus' name, it appears as a demon. And for the first time, they would see the spirit guide that they are so proud of. Because they will face you, and they know this is their guide, then you don't see it. And you say, in the name of Jesus, reveal yourself. And the person who sees the guide, and I don't see it, begins to show a, a fear. Because for the first time, the light is taken away and it's a demon. This woman who attended our gathering, she was trying to put a curse on me. Also, the person in the assembly will cast the curse. She does not know the word of God. I will bless those who will bless you. And I will curse those who will curse you. Curses don't work on Christians. Amen. We are the only people on this world that are immune to curses. Also, we are the ones on the planet who are immune to curses. There was a missionary who went to Papua New Guinea. In tribal ministry, you do two things. You win the chief or the witch doctor. But the witch doctor was more powerful than the chieftain. The missionary comes to the tribe. The witch doctor comes out. And says, in the, on this day, at this time. Han sier på den dagen og den tiden You will die of this sickness Så vil du dø av sykdom I curse you Jeg forbanner deg And the missionary said Og missionæren sa In the name of Jesus I navnet Jesus I return the curse back to you Jeg sender forbanner In a double portion På en dobbel måte On that day På den dagen On that time På den tiden With that sickness Med den sykdom You are the one who will die Du er den som vil dø And they did this in the middle of the tribe. And the day came. All the tribe people were waiting who will die. Right now there is a church in that tribe. Because the witch doctor died. Amen. You see, fortune telling is talking to Satan's prophets. Ja, altså å vite om fremtiden på den måten, da snakker du med satans profet. In fact, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, altså hvis du er fylt med helgen, these people cannot even say anything. Disse folkene kan ikke si en ting. The spirits that they talk to do not come close. Åndene som de snakker til, de kan ikke nærme seg. I remember walking into one of these so-called powerful people. Jeg husker en gang jeg kom inn til sånn. And by the time I was at the door, I said, In the name of Jesus, I bind you, Satan. You will not operate on anyone in this place. Jeg sa i navn i Jesus Kristus, Satan, du får ikke operert og gjort noe her på dette sted. And so the psychic was trying to get a message. Så han syker, han prøvde å komme med noe. And he said, I don't know what's happened today. Jeg vet ikke hva som skjer i dag. But I am blank. Men jeg er helt blank. I feel sick. Jeg føler meg syk. I said, in the name of Jesus, you get out of this room. Jeg sa i navn av Jesus, ut av dette rommet. And so the person got out of the room. So the person gikk ut. I was, they, it was a big gathering. I was at the back. I was invited by one friend. Det var en stor forsamling. Jeg var bakerst. Jeg var invitert av en venn. The, the psychic was embarrassed. He couldn't, she couldn't earn any money that day. Also, den dagen så kunne ikke sånn psykisk person tjene penger da. 
about palm reading. Oh, yes, eh, they, they claim to tell the future by interpreting the lines of the hands. Also, there's no problem. Card laying or cartomancy, people who believe that lay the what the cards predict. Yeah, men skis or men that can find things you will say court. These are entertaining demons. Psychosometry is a kind of divination that um, relies on the spe on special aura. It's like touching the glove of Michael Jackson and saying, oh, he's dancing happily right now. <laughs> and you know what? Psychosometry, a lot of people, you know, especially they miss their grandfather, they want to know. And they bring this, you know, antique and they hold it. Spiritualism. The belief that spirits of the dead can communicate with the living. The Bible teaches that the, light, the world of man is different from the world of spirits. When a human being dies, he leaves this world. He only goes to two places. Eternal life with God in heaven or eternal life without God in hell. You are not allowed to roam around. Or else me, when I die, I would go on a tour. To the parts of the world that I've never been. But God will not allow that. Hebrews 9.27 teaches us. Just as man is destined to die once after that to face judgment. After your last breath. After your last heartbeat. You stand before the throne room of God. Amen. Ouija boards. A lot of people, they want to consult spirits. They have invented ways of making the spirit's message clearer. These are demonic toys. Spirit of the glass is another one. It's communicating with an evil spirit using a glass, moving around a paper that has letters. Seances. A seance is talking to a spirit or a medium um, attempting to communicate with the spirit of the dead. Now, seances are very interesting. There are things that happen, like the change of voice. An old man sounds like a boy. And a young boy sounds like an old man. Sometimes a woman would sound like a male, or a male would sound like a female. In a seance, sometimes they do automatic writing. They start to write letters. This is a sample letter from the Spirit of Jesus while a person was under possession. These are evil spirits that enter into the house, into the lives of people because they get involved in the wrong activities. What they are actually opening up, they're opening themselves to the power of the enemy. Another one is called Phantasm. Phantasm is very popular because Hollywood always uses this as a, as a theme for horror movies. There are things that have no life that begin to float in mid-air. The walls, the flooring, they become, they begin to sound as if they're breathing. Voices come out of objects that have no life. 
There's a ministry in the Philippines that is led by Koreans. They identify the um, the haunted houses. And what they do is they go to a haunted house, they identify the owner, they do a seven day prayer walk around it. They bind the spirit. And every haunted house that they go to, it ends up as a church. I saw this intercessor team. I met them once. But you know the good thing about a haunted house? It's cheaper. <laughs> because nobody wants to live there. And so they're taking advantage of finding a haunted house and they're not threatened. They would find a way to be able to do intercession in that house and set the spirits free. You know, let, you know get cast the spirits out. And, and every haunted house that they made they went to became a church. You see it's uh, even cartoons like the Batman, the Rise of Phantasm. These are common demonic uh, themes. Everybody listening to me say amen. Are you learning? Necromancy is a form of magic which the part person seeks to summon a spirit. Again, when you want to talk to a human spirit, you end up with an evil spirit because God does not allow evil spirit bodily form. This is a form of witchcraft. Is, are there, is there a spirit world? Let's read Philippians chapter 2. In Philippians chapter 2, you, do you know where God's victory was felt? In Philippians chapter 2, it says, Beginning from verse 9. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Where? In heaven, on earth, and under the earth. You see that? In heaven, on earth, and under the earth. You see, even demons submit to the Lord. Amen. That's why we need to bind the work of the enemy. The most powerful prayer that we can do is to learn to do binding and loosing. Where we can bind the work of the enemy and loosen the power of God and the blessings of God. You see, there's a lot of things. Let me just read randomly some of the other doors, but I'm not, I don't have a PowerPoint for this. It's going to be too long. But let me just read it. New Age doorways. Also, in UH. Yoga, which means yoke. Uh, yoga. Mind control, hypnotism, acupuncture, the use of needles for healing purposes. Uh, a new ager talked to me and said, "Why are you not a new ager? You move in the sp you move powerfully." Also, new ager talked to me, "Why are you not a new ager? You move powerfully." I told him because you. In your world, you are the center of this world. In my world, God is the center of my world. And in your world, God does not communicate. God is a distance and He cannot talk. Your God is less than my God. My God reveals Himself through the Holy Spirit. 
That is why he receives the